a little different type of treasure hunt right now. I'm coming to the beach to find some driftwood to make more shelving out of in my little relic room. Oh, look at all the birds. And not much can anger you more than to see this left on the beach. And unfortunately, based on all the setups, it's the fishermen coming in. I don't mind the fish being here, but really, really? And pizza from Tsugini's? Let's grab it, let's throw it away. This is what I call the driftwood beach section of our beach down here. And this is our only chance at finding any kind of driftwood that's going to resemble shelving for me. What do you think, pal? You see anything yet? No, 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 no. Look at that piece of a dog. No, no, no. No, not worn out enough. What about bringing that thing home? I got a hundred uses in this thing in my head already. That would be awesome. Think we can carry it? I don't even think we can move it. The ocean moved it. Yeah, that's a pretty cool spot. See any bottles in there? No bottles. No, you're not. There's always a Corona light. Yes, you are. Come on. Dad, come here. You see something good? No, it's just a. It's just a. Uh, uh, this pond is in there. Let me see. Uh, it looks like, if you look to the right, there looks. Oh, it's almost like you can crawl under there. Yeah, I can. No, you're not going to. I see a there plastic there bottle. Wow. There's a Not quite what I'm looking for. Let's see what else is over here. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff you can see underneath this old pier. I don't see anything. Look at that old structure. This guy is a great old vintage lure. I think I got two of them at home. You now this is gonna be the third. Oh, she's beat up. Yeah, I forget the name of it, it's right down there. She's gonna require a little cleanup. That's a nice old lure. And I think there might be a bottle right there. Dark the color looks. And I'm going to say that is a cat's up bottle. I think I see the word farm on it. And cat's up, which is how they originally spelled ketchup. So I'm just wondering how intact this guy is based on that. I'm not going to say much.
It's very rare that a pull bottle in this area out is intact. So I already started to lift this and felt it's a little heavier than normal. So I'm gonna videotape the rest. Oh, look at that. That's a great Coca-Cola. Look at that. It's so rare to find one intact here. Looks like that might be Newark, New Jersey. Yep. Coca-Cola, no lip chips, and she looks in extraordinary condition. There's gonna be a date on her, I'm pretty sure. Let's go rinse her off real fast. all the dead fish. Unfortunately, we're having a bacteria issue in the water here, and the fish are dying. And I'm sticking my hand in it. Oh, look at the shape of that thing. And that is a 61. First two digits of the year. Newark, New Jersey. That's a 1961 Coca-Cola. Hobble skirt. Slight later model, and a great Newark, New Jersey on it. This is a local Red Bank, New Jersey, original Benjamin Crate soda bottle. And this is the second one I have found. What I love about these is that the date is on there. The first one I found was intact and I actually sold it to a client of mine who knew the granddaughter of Benjamin Crate. This one isn't intact, but I do love the 1919 on it. Not sure what we got going on here. Big enough. I like the color. Kind of hard to tell how old it is. There's some writing on it up here. And it's really hard to tell if it's intact. And it has a lip chip. But look at how cool that bottle is. Jeez Louise. Oh, it's not super old. Dispose it properly. Great shape. Clear. Semi slick. Look at this cool thing, too. Where I'm a shaver. Very nice. First time checking this place out in low tide. Love what it looks like. Thanks, Christine. I love those piers. What is that out there? I love that too. We have something brewing up in here here, but I just popped out this little guy. I don't know if it's plastic or some kind of hard ceramic. It should be older. Looks almost like a magnifying glass. That eh, might be wrapped in rubber. I'm not sure what that is. But I figured I'd videotape it. Right, you know how I like my mini bottles. And you know this is a twist off. It's got some embossing on it. I think it says Company Ink. Probably Bayer. Oh, wait, the Bayer. Yep, I think that's a Bayer aspirin bottle. The Bayer Company. Came right out of there. Probably at the end of the bottle dump here. I don't really see much more.
back to hitting one of my old favorite places right down the street from my house. I'm getting a good wash line up here at a whole bunch of pennies and nickels. And then I don't know if you can see that, so it looks like a Japanese coin. And there we go. Strange to find that right here. A cool coin nonetheless. Just a great day out today. Those guys are going to our old spot. I'm pretty sure I pretty much got everything out of there. But I put it too much on the video, so everybody's sneaking over there. We got Thomas the Detectorist down there somewhere. I even think we got Team Lynch down there. I saw a bumper sticker on their car. And I'm going to sneak all the way over here. And with all the green on this bad boy, I think I can make out possibly an Indian. That might be... Might just be, yep. That's an Indian head penny. A lot of green on that bad boy. I'll clean it up and get a date on it when I get home. Hope I was putting that in the camera. He's there somewhere. Yep. There she is. Ooh, that looks like an 18 something, maybe 1895. And there was another signal right next to it. This popped up right behind a penny. And it sure looks silver to me. And it looks really, really old. And I cannot make out much of anything on that. And I'm not going to swipe it. I'm going to rinse it in the water. Let's see if I can get the markings on it. Okay, moment of truth. It's dime size, nothing. And dime size, nothing. I'm going to say that might be a seated dime, but I'm going to have to try and get a better look at it when I get it home because it's really beat up. Oh, well, I think I know what this is. The silver dime. But based on my first glance, I liked what I saw. That is a seated, seated silver dime. And it is in good shape. I'm not swiping it. I'm just getting some of the water off of it. That looks like an 18, that could be an 1889, seated silver. That's a great coin, one dime. The coins here usually come out wrecked, 1889. That's an interesting piece I thought was a, well, I first thought it was a, big copper but then a button and now I'm not really sure what it is it's got what it looks like two little slide on snaps it's copper I'm not really sure nice little copper decorative piece not really sure what it goes to it looks like it's got a flower shape. And right out of that hole came an old pocket knife. And it's rare that you can actually make out some of the blades on this one. They're usually the first pieces that rot away. But you can make out some of the blade. No, I was not expecting this one out of the hole. It didn't even give me a really strong signal. But that is a silver barber quarter. And I believe the date is 
1889 maybe, it's kind of hard to see, but she's in decent enough shape. There's the eagle. And my buddy Thomas fin Fimiani, Thomas the Detectorist, just got a barber quarter the other day. A great looking one, it's a little better shape than this one is. But that is a beaut of a coin. Maybe 1905? No, I think it's in 1895. Look at this interesting piece stuck in this mess of rust. It's like a cool... Oh. That's an interesting design right like there. What is that from? I might be able to peel this thing out, and it might even be intact. It's very hard to tell if it's moving. Oh! That is in there, for real. Right, I'm going to actually try and excavate this thing. Because it looks like it's a little loose. Okay. All it needed was a little bit of elbow grease and that thing popped right out. And it looks like a great milk bottle or milk glass with some design in it. It's a screw top, but that just came out and it says on the bottom, Woodbury. Cool, right in there. I'm curious to know what made that design. See little designs in there? I don't see anything in here. I might have to break this thing apart. Now, just after I found that bottle, I unfortunately broke my shovel. And that right there is usually a deal breaker and I would go home. Thank God I didn't. Isn't it always true when something awesome happens and no one's ever around? I just dug what I thought was a big, stupid green washer because it looked from this side like nothing. It's heavy, it's thick. I turned it over, and this thing is unbelievable looking. Look at this large scent. I've found four large scents or three large scents. You can barely make them out. 1849, look at this thing. It is in incredible condition. How pretty of a coin. They never come out of this shape. Look at all the stones in here. This thing should be destroyed. 1849 large set. That is in unbelievable shape. The back is kind of beat, but I can see some details on it. It's even some writing. Look at this. It's a very, very, why this thing came out of here, I have no idea. I just pulled three memorial pennies right there and not more than 18 inches away I get this signal. My twin brothers can have a coronary.